Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is fatal application exit, fatal D3D error. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then verify the game files. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the config file or local config.ini when you delete it all the saved settings will be lost now for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files now over here you can see this config file create a backup so you can copy this file go to desktop once you have a backup now you can rename this config file make a right click and then you can rename it or you can delete it dot old once you rename it now you can launch the game if you have this local config you can do the same thing with this now the next step is to delete shader file now for this again go to the game installation folder and over here you can see this shader dot cache 2 you can delete this folder when you delete this file, when you launch the game, it will recompile the shaders and then you can check. The next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game, select manage, browse local files. Here you can see the game exe file, make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to Allow the game exe file to Windows security. Now for this open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, go to Windows security, click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. Select the game exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and then select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. Once the game is added, in my case the game is already added, once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to now, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program and then check. You can skip this step if you are able to launch the game, if you are not able to launch the game. But if you are able to launch the game, you can try this step, turn off vSync. Try both turn on and turn off and check which one is working fine for you. Try the same resolution in Windows settings and select the same resolution in game lower down graphic settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game uh, you can go to press the escape key and then go to options and then over here go to graphics over here and then quality first of all uh, you can go to quality graphics option now over here uh, first of all go to basic graphic settings now once you go to basic graphic settings on the right hand side you will see vsync now if this is on you can turn this off and then apply the settings if it is already off you can turn it on and then check also you can switch to window mode if this is set to full screen uh, borderless like borderless window mode you can try window mode over here and then you can go to resolution option. Now, if this is set to 4K, uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And then go to detail graphics settings. 
Now over here, if everything is set to ultra high, you can set it to normal or maybe high. And then you can check the performance. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Now over here, select your graphic card and select your operating system and then click on find. Now on this page, the latest one is on, will be on the top, the GeForce Game Ready Driver. This is the latest one right now. Whichever is the latest, click on view and then download this file. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, click on yes to allow and then click on OK and then you will see agree and continue option. So hit agree and continue and then select the custom option over here. Then click on next. Then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. And then click on next. And once the installation is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to roll back graphics driver. Now for many users, uh, this has worked. So if the latest is not working, then you can go to NVIDIA website. And when you select your graphic card, your operating system, when you click on, uh, when you are on this page, you can click on view more version over here. And over here, uh, you can try the older version, maybe 576.28. So try to roll back graphic driver. For many users, this has worked. Uh, driver version 566.36. So you can install this one, uh, click on view, download this file. And when you run the exe file, when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows set box, go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then select the game exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added, find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on the game and then over here you can see GP preference, set it to high performance and then you can launch the game and then check. Desktop users, make sure that you connect your display or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card, not the motherboard slot. Because if your computer has a dual graphic card like Intel and dedicated graphic card, make sure that you connect the display cable to the graphic card slot. Now disable onboard graphics. Now for this, you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager expand display adapter over here you will see your graphic card so in my case here you can see the inbuilt one intel this is the dedicated so you can just make a right click on the onboard graphic and then you can click on disable device and once this is disabled now you can launch the game and then check later on once you're done playing the game you can always enable this intel now the next step is to uncheck IPv6. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to network and internet. Go to network and sharing center. Click on your internet and then go to properties. Over here, you can see, scroll down, you will see internet protocol version 6. IPv6. Make sure Internet protocol version 4 is checked and you can uncheck this inter internet protocol version 6. Uncheck this box and then click on OK. Now you can launch the game and then check. This has worked for a few players so it might work for you. Still not working. In that case, you can click on the Wi-Fi icon once again. Now once you are done playing the game, you can always enable this IPv6. So you can scroll down and once you're done playing the game, you can put a check over here and then click on OK. Now still not working. The next step is to turn on or turn off VPN. So you can use VPN for many users using VPN has worked. So you can get the free VPN and you can turn it on and then check. If the VPN, you're already using the VPN, then turn it off, close VPN and then check. Next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt tab. Click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy all these command one by one. And paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Copy the second command. Paste it. Hit the enter key. Now run the third command. Paste it. Hit the enter key. 
once this is done you can close this now you have to relaunch the game and then check still not working T try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 close this launch the game and then check So the game is launching so let me close the game for now if that does not work go to properties once again and this time you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you're not using so if you have voters wheels pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer sometimes you have extra controller connected the dongle connected disconnected disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties Turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game. Turn this off. Also, if you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can launch NVIDIA app. I don't have NVIDIA app. So if you have NVIDIA app, go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off NVIDIA overlay. And close all the overlay application and then check. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner, Reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. If you have any third party application running, you can close it and close it from the task manager as well. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update windows. So for this, go to windows settings, go to windows update, click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your game. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see Visual files. So download both x86 and x64. Run both the exe files. So click on it. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Run this second file as well. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Let the installation complete. Once installed, now restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, Uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this fatal D3D error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.